With the release of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe came 48 tracks, and now 48 DLC tracks, as well as your typical Grand Prix and Versus mode options for single player. But by far the most popular single player mode for any Mario Kart is Time Trials, and this Mario Kart is no different. You can race against the clock and try and beat your own times, and go for gradually more and more precise world records as time goes on. However, one thing was different. There are no expert staff ghosts. What's up with that, Nintendo? Usually, when you beat a Nintendo staff ghost, you unlocked the expert staff ghost, but not an 8 Deluxe. So today, I'll be starting the expert staff ghost challenge. For each cup in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I'll be giving myself one hour to make as difficult time trial ghosts as possible. These will be our quote unquote expert staff ghosts. Time management will be extremely important and oftentimes we'll be playing to the last second to try and complete runs. Now while I want these runs to be hard, I don't want them to be impossible to beat for the average viewer. So I will be using no mushrooms on any of these tracks, meaning they will be relatively beatable with rooms. Still, I believe since a lot of these tracks don't have huge shortcuts, it will be pretty tough regardless. Today we're just going to be doing one cup, the shell cup. I'm going to show a little bit more of the process and hopefully you guys enjoy. This will probably be the more standard format, so it's going to be a lot more videos and a lot more cups to go over. I'll see you guys next time. We're on Villager Girl because this is the closest thing I can think to a farmer. So we're gonna do we're gonna do first try. See how it goes. By the way, if you wanna beat this, the easiest way, at least for shrooms, is to use a start shroom, go for the wide coins, and then uh in laps two and three, you go for the cut. Uh, but this could be a first try, you know. Could just be that easy. Villager girl kind of nasty. Not gonna lie. Oh, except I hit the off road. Okay, this probably would have been a first try. I had not done that. Maybe I would have tried for a, a little bit more, but would have been a good first try. I lost probably like a second, so. You're not going to be able to get those tricks if you go faster. Okay, I'm going to try for like a 130 mid? 130 low? Yeah, 130 low. Seems about right. Okay, yeah. Going a little bit tighter here. So this lap one's going to be a lot better. Already. Oh, I missed the coin. That is no good. Okay, that could easily be a point zero. So maybe I can get a sub one thirty actually. Cause lap three is also supposed to be faster than lap two. Yeah, I'll probably go for one twenty nine then. Okay, if you go too fast, you're not going to be able to get that either. Oh, I already got the 129. <laughs> Maybe I'll try for 128. Okay. Wow, okay. I forgot. It wasn't 0.7 slower, it was 1.7 slower. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Uh, 
Oh, I don't know if that was any good. <laughs> okay, 30.8 lap one is pretty good though. Oh no, it's point five ahead. Okay, I'm I'm gonna get a one twenty eight. A little bit of a slower lap one, but it's okay. Oh, that was really bad. Yeah. Even if this is a 128, I'll probably try to improve it because this is not not a good run. I don't think this will be a 128, so. Yeah, yeah, we, we can get a 128. Yeah. If I get the 128, then everything is fine. <laughs> Don't know why I drifted in the off-road there. Alright, there's no shot. I'm going to spend more than like 15 minutes on this. Why do I... Okay. Come on. Come on. I'm going to start my last run at the 16 minute mark. Because this is getting ridiculous. Okay, very good. Not gonna say anything stupid. Okay. We're on the right track. Not gonna say anything stupid, okay? Anything could happen in this run. Anything could happen. And, oh, okay, no, no 128. Why was that lap three so bad? Wait, hold up. Aw, oh, man. I feel like that should have been the 128. Alright, that's fine, though. We'll move on. And now, this track is actually pretty tough because of the, the Shroom of Shortcut at the end. I, like, make or breaks this track. And getting it 3 for 3, like, decent, at least, is something I have to go for, basically. Okay, it's just the first try. It's a okay. That was a good NISC right there. I'm gonna get the last coin on the boost ramp of this upcoming one. Like that. I have no idea what time I want to go for here, but, like, that is not what you want. <laughs> that was as slow as my lap one. That's how you know it's bad. That's a little bit faster if you do, do it right. I don't think I did it right there, but that's what we're going to be going for. That was like a decent one. 
Like, if I get that all three times, I will be happy with that. This probably should be a 131. Yeah. I think a 131 would be good. Because I think the Ultra Mini Turbo carries your speed boost all the way until the boost panel instead of stopping it a little bit before. That's why I think getting the UMT is probably better. Dude, why am I not getting the extra MT there? That was good. Okay, that was a decent NISC. Okay, we're up two seconds. This is pretty good. Pretty damn good. Okay, I can get a 129. I can see it. If we get like a perfect NISC on one of these laps, and then just like decent ones on the rest. Oh, that was like awful. I'm just not getting the extra empty there for some reason. Okay. I just want to see if this is a PB. Actually, do I even want to race this ghost? If it, yeah, I don't want to race this ghost. I'm gonna have to take, if this is really good, or sorry. This takes 30 minutes, but it's really good. Then, like, that'll be fine. lap one now we gotta get this perfect oh barely got the coin my goodness oh that's the perfect nisk come on now that is the perfect NISC. That's exactly what we want. Come on. Okay, that was decent. Didn't hit the tires. Okay, I'll, I'll live with that. I don't think I'm going to get a perfect NISC two out of three laps, so that's completely fine. I could get a 129 here, but yeah, this is completely fine. So for this track, this is going to be tough because this track has a lot of tech. Even though it's like relatively simple, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So I don't think we'll use Luigi yet in the extra staff goes yet so that's why i ended up using him because i couldn't think of another character okay you definitely don't want to go there you don't want to go on that trick ramp okay i forgot to do a first try this is my first try guys this is my first try i forgot we were doing first try still okay but yeah we were as i was saying this track is pretty tough so we're going to do a complete run through. Missed the MT, but it's fine. This doesn't have any like hard shortcuts like Mario Circuit does, but it, like the whole track is pretty tough in general. I'd say. Oops. <laughs> it's 
Sometimes you can just make random simple mistakes like that. You also have to memorize the crab cycles on this track. Like lap two, I know for a fact the crabs are going to be an absolute bitch here. Yeah, look at this crab. Look at him. <laughs> Makes me want to restart. <laughs> just off instinct. <laughs> but it's, this is the first try, so we're going to keep going. Even though everything is telling me I want to restart. <laughs> so yeah, if I can get past that crab lap too, that's going to save me like easily point two. But you have to be really fast. If you're doing this with shrooms, you'll probably be able to beat it. I would imagine. Uh, and you don't even have to worry about the crab because you just shroom through this cut right here. But if you're doing this shroomless... That crap is going to be a big problem for a lot of people. So sometimes we'll just have to go around it. Sometimes we'll just have to go a little bit tight and, and hop through the off a little bit. Okay. I imagine this could be like a 152, 151. I think my PB is a 151 on this track, but it's on streetle, so it doesn't really count. And we can spend as much time as we want on this track because Toad's Turnpike should just be a first try. I'm not going to leave myself just a first try on that track, obviously. But I could literally just get it first try. And it would not it would not surprise me. Because that track is hella simple. This one is a lot more complicated, so... As long as I have at least 10 minutes left to do uh, Toad's Turnpike, or even if it's like... A little bit more than five, I should be fine. Yeah, there's like 15 coins lap one you can grab. I don't know if that extra empty is faster. And I can't tell, because I hit the wall lap too, so it's gonna be. would be difficult to tell, just based off the ghost. Okay, this crab should be beatable, but it's very close. If I just get a little bit faster lap one, I think I can just beat that crab. Okay, yeah, this should be a one to the one easy. If we end up uh, beating these times all quickly, I might just uh, go back to Moo Meadows and get a 128. Because I'm not going to try and beat RMC, that's a little bit too tough. I get like perfect disc, what, 1 out of 10 times or something, so trying to get it 2 out of 3 is going to be legit impossible. And then. At least to get it in like 5 or 10 minutes. Oh, that's really good. And even though Moomoo Meadows is good, the 128 will feel really good if I get it, so... That was much better than lap two, I think. I think this is a 151. I can get the low trick at the end. That'd be cool. Okay, nope. 151.6. Okay, I'll take it. That's a good lap three. I don't think I'm beating that lap three, so. Yeah, that's that's completely fine. Could be a little bit better, obviously, but I will I will take it. And finally, we got a classic combo in Toad on the Pipe Frame. Perfect for this track because 
you know, we're on Toad. Toad's Turnpike after all. I said this is, should be a one-shot, but I did just hit a wall, so probably won't be a one-shot. But if we do beat this, I will probably end up going back to Moo Moo Meadows to try to get a 128 there. We're going to be snaking through all this section. Whenever you have a lot of space at a straight, you're going to be snaking. Because this has no base speed. So getting as many mini turbos as possible on this is going to be key. I don't know the optimal time trial lines on this track. And I'm hitting walls all the time, but... What I do know is that on this combo, you want to be getting a lot more mini turbos. I know with like a, I think Yoshi Vidi is the world record combo right now, but it used to be an inward time where you just take these turns really tight on like a speed combo. And yeah, but I think you do a lot more mini turbos, especially like right here when you're on the more mini turbo heavy vehicles. Okay, I need to figure out how to not hit the wall there. And if I'm happy with all my times, like let's say I get a 120 down Moo Moo Meadows, okay, this should probably be a 149. Okay, that wall hit actually wasn't that bad. Okay, I need to start my drift a lot later there. And I hit the wall again. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. That was a little bit of a wall hit. But we're still beating this by a lot. I think this could be a 149 pretty easily. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, there's there's my second mistake. Still gonna be a PB, but yeah, this should easily be a 149. Easily. Yeah. Yeah, that was actually a little bit better. Catching the air there. Wasn't entirely sure, but... We're a little bit faster. Just a tiny bit. Ooh, you got an extra empty there. Looks like I'm gonna be a little bit... Oh, okay. I think I hit the wall there a little bit. Or something. That was probably the mistake that I was missing. Okay, we're a little bit ahead, but we use a lot of time lap three, so. Ooh, that turn was really tight. Don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall. Okay, nice. Okay, I think this is the 149 we're looking for. I think this is it. Oh my god, I almost hit that car. Okay, that was a really good time. Very nice. Okay, let's get the 128 on Moomoo Meadows. Okay, we're back at Moomoo Meadows. In case you're wondering why this is at the end of the video. 
Why am I using this combo? Because Villager Boy is going to be, or Isabel, is going to be for Animal Crossing. Uh, so I thought I might as well include the other one in here. I imagine I'll use Villager Boy because Villager Boy is actually somewhat meta. But if we end up not getting the 128 here, like, it's completely fine. This is just, you know, I have not been able to finish these, one of these cups really early before, so. I just thought of something. Maybe I can get the UMT there on that turn. And maybe I can go for the SMT here. Okay, that is not faster. That's okay, though. We've learned. I'm going to try and get the UMT here. See if this is any good. Oh, that does seem very good. Okay. I think we could get the 128 then. Okay. We have discovered something. Discovery. Probably saves like 0.1 almost, so. It's very good when this track is super close. Okay, that one was not a good UMT, but did catch us up a little bit, I guess. Can we lose the most time on lap three, so. Oh, that's not good. Did not get the UMT. But we're still somehow dead even. <laughs> oh my god, we took that super tight. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna do the SMT here because I think we can beat this. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> At least it's a little bit better. Oh, that's that's too good. It's like basically even. The uh, the UMT versus SMT MT. Okay, I missed that a little bit, but it's okay. So we're gonna be a little bit ahead. not point one ahead because I messed up the ending. Come on. No! Okay, come on. One more try. One more try. Got all three coins. Which has been a big struggle for some reason. Okay, well, GG's. That is it for the Shell Cup. I hope you guys enjoyed.